The word mindfulness conjures up all sorts of images and impressions. But if I told you that we were gonna practice mindfulness at work, what would you say? Do I have to sit cross-legged? Is that the same thing as yoga? Does it require stretchy pants? And I tell you, no, it doesn't require any of those things. Stretchy pants are optional. Hi, I'm Rachel Walla with Ally Safety. And in safety, it's well known that distractions are one of the leading causes of accidents and injuries at work. In fact, a study from UC Irvine showed that even minor distractions can increase our error rate by 50%. Mindfulness can make a huge difference in our safety, the quality of our work, and how much we enjoy our time at our jobs. So today, we're gonna to take a look at how we can use mindfulness to improve our work. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Despite being associated with a sort of new aginess, mindfulness is nothing new. And it's being embraced in industries ranging from high tech to construction because it improves employee well-being at the same time as improving the company's financial success. But what is mindfulness? Well, basically, it's being purposefully focused on where you are and what you're doing. It sounds simple because it is, but it's becoming harder and harder to achieve in today's world. Let me show you what I mean. reached for your phones? And how many of you were either thinking about something else or doing something else during that eight seconds? For those of you who managed to pay attention for the full eight seconds, do you feel any differently now than you did before? Maybe a little bit calmer and a little bit more relaxed. A study from Microsoft showed that people generally lose concentration after about eight seconds. Other studies have shown that our experiences of being uninterrupted typically are lasting 10 seconds or less. Today, we have three steps to help you improve your concentration using mindfulness at work. Not only will this make you happier, it will also make you safer and more effective at your job. Number one, give yourself space to focus by taking control of your distractions. Brain research has shown that humans don't actually multitask. We just tend to switch back and forth between different focuses frequently. But this switching back and forth results in as much as 20 to 40% losses in efficiency. Another study showed that trying to focus on multiple things at the same time effectively lowers our IQ by about 10 points. Although we tend to blame social media for the distractions, work distractions are just as big a part of the problem. How often are you right in the middle of something important and that new email dings into your inbox and pretty soon you're emailing, instant messaging, and researching all while taking part in a Teams meeting? I mean, technically, I'm on a Teams meeting right now. It's time to seize back control from our distractions. Not only will this be incredibly satisfying, it'll make you feel more powerful too. Start with your biggest distractions and set boundaries. Change the notification settings on your phone and computer so that you aren't constantly bombarded with updates. End emails with a note that you only check emails during specific hours and, if it's an emergency, they can call you. Go through all your sources of distraction and remove everything that isn't essential. It's as simple as deciding what's allowed to interrupt your life and what's not. Next, you need to take command of the traffic that's going on in your brain. I know we've got too many things happening in the world right now, and that politician just did that thing, and your favorite celebrity was just in a scandal, and your boss just sent that memo that you think was directed at you, but you've never stolen a sandwich from the break room that supposedly belonged to Jerry. And why does Jerry think that he owns the rights to everything in the break room fridge anyway? Besides, who doesn't put potato chips on a chicken sandwich? See that? That is just a bunch of garbage swirling around. We're gonna take that garbage and throw it out just like we would the junk mail. <laughs> Lastly, come back to where you are and what you're doing. The practice of mindfulness is really just noticing when your mind has wandered off and bringing it back to the present moment. Mindfulness builds like a muscle, so what may seem like an eternity to focus today can breeze by by next week. 
if you can immerse yourself in whatever project you're doing, chances are you're going to enjoy doing that project a lot more and you're going to be better at it too. Okay, now that you know those three steps, let's try another eight seconds of focus and see if you can improve on the last time. How was that? Did you notice anything different? Keep working on it. It will get easier, you'll be safer, and you'll also enjoy work more. If you need help, check out our three minute mindfulness at work reset video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. Until the next time, I'll see you guys later.